Hi guys. It has just been a regular, uh, <laughs> just a regular peaceful night here in the, uh, here in the end times in paradise in the bucolic, peaceful countryside of Garfield, Texas, where I am in the process of packing up my gas-sucking truck to get the fuck out of here. Jesus fucking Christ. Sick and tired of this whole motherfucking place and everything about this goddamn shithole state of Texas. Get me the fuck out of here. Even Sancho Panza is, is uh, split to Austin to go hang out. Uh, anyway, uh, but it is Sunday night. It's peaceful Sunday night. Uh, January 6, 2018. I believe so. Uh, is this the first view from Zombie Island Roundup? Uh, I just want to see how folks over there on the other side of the pond are dealing with the collapse of everything on this fucking planet while I try to get out of here and get the fuck out of Garfield, Texas and all these goddamn clueless fucking morons. I'm sick of this fucking bullshit. Anyway, so, uh, we're gonna go over and listen to, uh, what someone has called my, my transatlantic brother, good old Andy Gardner, while, uh, I am beginning to, uh, <clears throat> to cheer on building the wall. Let's see what's on Andy's mind. So in one of my rants this week, I asked the question, what do people do all day? Studs Terkel wrote an entire book, What Do People Do, I think was the name of it. Just what the fuck do people do all day? And this is Andy's uh, answer to my, my lifelong question. <clears throat> What do people do all day? Hmm. Now, I know this because I studied all about it in school. In UIS class, Understanding Industrial Society, which, being socialist and capitalist propaganda of the highest order, I will now ignore entirely and focus on reality instead. What happens is if that they is that if they have been adequately trained, remain sane and enthusiastic, <coughs> ambitious, <coughs> yet subservient to their higher-ups and masters, people will likely be filling one of millions of fantasy work niches unlocked by the trillions of gigawatts of free energy discovered just a few decades ago <clears throat> under the ground. This energy has primarily been used by humans to convert the entire world to a gargantuan human food supply for a short period. Bellies full, all the humans thus have all day free to pretend to do useful work in so-called offices and factories and thereby attain their proper status and worth in society. The pecking order being what all this is called, this, all this so-called work is really about. All the real work, <coughs> apart from the work converting the entire world to human food in the short term is also done by said free energy, mainly empowering cars up and down motorways, but also other machines in the workspaces, status allocating areas, otherwise known as status allocating areas. <clears throat> After just a few hours messing about with stuff, they all go home and spend their societal compliance rewards on some of the food grown on the converted planet, 
which they also use to produce more people. The fake work consists basically of selling dreams and toys to each other, also made of free energy, until the free energy runs out, the system grinds to a halt, and they all die. This was, uh, I got a fly buzzing around. I've got a fly buzzing around. I've got a couple of moths flying around. I got a yard full of crickets chirping outside here on January 6th. Uh, <clears throat> and this is Andy's response to uh, me giving money to the Guardian. Please don't give money to the Guardian. That entire purpose, apart from providing status-signifying work niches described above, is pacifying a million or so vaguely non-clueless fucking morons in the unlikely event they might be motivated to do something unacceptable to the cancer system that owns it. There you go, and then uh, Andy learned a new word uh, <clears throat> from our buddy Beachcomber Boz, the word panoptic. Panoptic. All right, I got to add panoptic to my word bank arsenal. Words are great. Possible use of the word panoptic. After the embarrassing 2018 drone attack in old London town, the panoptical, all-seeing, never-sleeping eye of the mega-cancer will now be constantly scanning the skies of Zombie Island for potential drone threats to the brand new Heathrow third runway, so millions of clueless fucking website designers and delivery drivers can continue to fly to Benidorm with their flabby, useless children. I think that is a fine word for, but I'll, is it panoptic or panoptical? Anyway, but uh, I guess maybe because it's the new year, Andy's thoughts are turning to love, I guess, or at least relationships. This is the, the asexual, celibate, misanthropic, lonely heart. Andy does have a soft spot, so uh, Andy is going to tell us about relationships. Okay. Just to, just to show I can criticize things other than cars and flying, here is Andy Gardner's belated New Year's message on the topic of marriage and relationships. Okay, take it away as I, you know, I am getting ready to go uh, consider rekindling an old flame with an old girlfriend uh, in Florida that uh, that I basically dumped, uh, good Lord, 18 years ago. Uh, we will see how that turns out. So this is kind of maybe Andy's warning to Hambone about rekindling an old flame. <clears throat> Relationships and marriage are just part of the controlling machine. The mega cancer needs you to settle down in a stable, nominally responsible, consumerist nuclear family unit. Then it's got you trapped. And it has nothing to do with human happiness. Happiness is irrelevant to anything important other than as a cold behavioral motivator. However, studies show that marriage does not lead to happiness anyway. And even if people are happily married, they certainly don't deserve to be. The institution of marriage, <clears throat> like the hideous capitalist workplace, children, 
cars, mortgages, and all the rest, and don't get me started on religion, is a form of social control leading to death. My shorthand to the truth is if culture tries to get you to do something, it is probably wrong. My evidence? Look at the fucking world it's created. It is disgusting and has no future. Relationships are a strangulation of my virtuous, nonconformist, antisocial, misanthropist, eco-Nazi, truth-telling individuality. Most important of all, relationships generally tend to lead to babies, a necessity of a vile, infinitely growing, tumorous human bubble. Ever more humans is not exactly what the planet needs right now, or even to be honest, considering right now, or ever to be honest, considering what they are and always were like. Yuck! Not when humans have replaced 98% of terrestrial vertebrate biomass and working on the rest. <clears throat> to be attractive in an industrial society, you generally need to be an irresponsible, planet-eating, clueless moron, relationship droid. So, being the inverse of that is obviously great for the environment, and as the environment is the only thing that matters, being single is necessary and good. The problem with humans is they were far too needy, stupidly cooperative, hardworking, social, and conformist, dooming them to great success in the short term and thus the inevitable near-term extinction consequences that follow. Listen up, you morons. If you want your fucking species to last more than a few more decades, my advice is to reject all relationships. But telling humans, such as Hambo, to stop having relationships, stop fucking, and stop creating billions of babies like they are just mere brainless animals is like telling them to stop working hard in the nominal work, driving cars and flying. Might as well tell them to stop breathing. Humans are doomed by narrow, hardwired behavioral patterns that are fixed and immutable. It's not nice to mock the afflicted or those walking up the steps to the gallows, but I feel compelled by some inner human cruelty. Yes, and I just took I, I just took issue with one thing that Andy had to uh, say about all that, and uh, my uh, response to Andy is. As long as you get sterilized before ever breeding, as I did, you should be you should be free to do all the fucking you want to. Of course, no woman with a brain wants to have sex with a doomer. So you are not fucked if you doom, fucked if you don't. Oh well, at least this is one problem I should put to rest when I get to Florida in a few days. I'm not going to Florida for the palm trees, if you get my drift. We have uh, Sancho's Dream by Andy Gardner, but uh, Sancho is visiting friends in Austin. I, anyway, uh, and we're going to skip over Sancho's dream. Uh, let's see. 
What else have we got here? Uh, okay, this is Andy's comment on how the Democratic Party will save the planet from the, cri the climate crisis in 2019 by forming another committee. Nancy Pelosi is going to form another committee so the Democrats can save the planet from the climate crisis. What do you think about that, Andy? We don't really need another committee of unqualified, freeloading professional parasites. Dump is unintentionally doing more for climate in encouraging nationalism, cultural divisions, skepticism of science and the global economy, and hopefully the short-term collapse of the USA into warring factions. Sometimes you got to lose the battle in the hope of winning the war, theoretically. Bernie, with his neoliberal globalist chums, in fostering a caring, inclusive, and cooperative society of consumers, car drivers, and frequent flying clueless fucking morons would probably keep the evil empire together longer, allowing population to rise and development to continue, causing ultimately even more damage. The left the left, or what's left of the left, is full of good intentions, but it only amounts to time-wasting and human-centric and tech-based policy which the mega-cancer needs to thrive. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, time has run out for failed socialist solutions I'm with dump. What do we want? Instability, madness, chaos, and death. And when do we want it? Now. Yes. Uh, so what is the weather like in Zombie Island while the peach trees are blooming and the crickets are chirping in January over here in Jesus Land? What's it look like over there in Zombie Island in January. <clears throat> it's very mild here in Zombie Island, too. So, we, whoever that is, so we went for a nice walk down the lane to see where they are planning a massive new housing development on the outskirts of the nice village there. The woman in the Anchor Pub wasn't that bothered. She said people need somewhere to live and no doubt it will increase customers. Everything is indeed blooming. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I really wanted to get Lest We Forget into one of my comments. I very nearly scrawled global warming under the lest we forget sign on the little flower bed next to our town's war memorial. But I didn't, in respect for all the men that gave their lives so that our aristocracy and political elites could remain in power and could subsequently fuck everything up royally. Instead, I said it in a very loud voice so some passers-by overheard, lest we forget global warming. It's a fucking joke. Get it? I.e., we remember stuff that happened 100 years ago, but totally forget vastly more important stuff happening right now. Honestly, some elderly people have no sense of humor at all. So, uh, but we're going to wind up with uh, let's see. 
let's see, some New Year's cheer. What, 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 how did Andy celebrate the New Year? How did Andy Gardner welcome in 2019? <clears throat> I went to bed at 9 p.m. as usual, so I missed the incredible event again. Drat. What am I like? I thought about driving down to Trafalgar Square with my girlfriend to celebrate the momentous occasion with, this is my girlfriend calling. This is my old girlfriend uh, calling probably to see if her dildo is uh, being shipped by Amazon yet. I'm shipping her a dildo for Christmas. Uh, anyway, too much information. Uh, <clears throat> where was I? Uh, he was talking about his own girlfriend. <clears throat> I went to bed at 9 p.m. as usual, so missed the incredible event again. Drat! I thought about driving down to Trafalgar Square with my girlfriend to celebrate the momentous occasion with a million drunk, clueless, imbecilic Londoners but then I remembered, I don't have a car or a girlfriend, and I don't give a fuck about New Year's Eve. But even though he does not give a fuck about New Year's Eve, he does have some predictions to uh, add to my uh, bunch of no shit Sherlock, we are so fucked predictions for 2019. Take it away. These are Andy Gardner's uh, predictions. <clears throat> I predict that headlines predicting we are exponentially fucked will increase exponentially. <clears throat> Furthermore, I predict that the number of people joking that headlines predicting we are exponentially fucked will increase exponentially. As for your predictions, all very conservative, if there is an El Nino, it will turbocharge 2019's global war events by to a terrifying level unparalleled in all history. And they will remain unsurpassed until at least 2020. But all is not lost. Although everyone's arrogance, human centricity, sense of entitlement, and reality filtering out mechanisms will be tested, they will all cope admirably. I predict ramping up of drone activity around major airports and maybe some ineffective copycat radio controlled car activity around major car factories, and more yellow vest protest and extinction rebellions. But it won't make the slightest fucking debt in the opinions of the mega cancer. Brexit will continue to be the most important topic on the BBC News, and my sister will carry on driving her car regardless of anything I say. I predict I will see more rare wandering thermophilic wildlife in the garden as the pollution deranged molecules in Zombie Island vibrate ever faster. In 2019, the molecules are vibrating ever faster. Anyway, I need to wrap this up. Uh, speaking of molecules vibrating, I need to uh, wrap this up so I can return uh, this call to my girlfriend, uh, my Obama Hillary loving girlfriend. I'm, I'm giving her this hat. This is a genuine from the inauguration hat. Limited edition Obama hat. She will be thrilled by this. But anyway, I need to uh, wrap up this view of Zombie Island and go have some phone sex uh, to get ready for my 
trip to Florida if my next door neighbors don't kill me uh, in the next 36 hours for thinking I ratted them out to the cops. Smoke them if you got them. We're so fucked. Bye, guys.